Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me. No. You can count on me to not fake videos, unlike almost every other creator on the platform. I feel like I just started 100 beefs. Not sorry about it. Well, guess I'm starting 100 beefs with this video. Hey my bowl of cereal, today's cereal flavor is a hint of disappointment with fake challenges and fake promises by the YouTuber Eric. Don't believe me? I will prove it in 30 days. Yeah, this video is going to be 720 hours long. Oh wait, no, Eric proved it himself in 13 out of so far 14 released episodes of his Around the World in 30 Days challenge. Now, for the people who don't know Eric, he's a challenge slash prank YouTuber with over 14 million subscribers and has been crowned by Mr. Beast himself as the next YouTuber who'll reach 100 million subscribers. Like I think Eric shares that same like just almost dumb, right? Like you have enough money where you just don't have to work anymore, but you keep going because you- I think he's the next person to get 100 million subscribers. Uh, he's obviously wrong because that will be me. Eric should instead be crowned as the king of faking content, not because of the amount he fakes, but because of how well he does it and keeps getting away with it while making his audience believe that he actually never fakes his content or challenges at all. Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me because of the lengths that we go to, to make sure that videos are not faked. And he has had a few slip ups over the years, you know, he's had his staying on an island until I get 1 million subscribers challenge. Or I will die on this island. I'm literally not leaving until we hit where a million. You could clearly see the city skyline in the back of his video. Or the video where he exposes strangers for lying. Nice yes. to meet you, that was a good shake too. Even though one of the strangers coincidentally happened to be a Darman actor. <laughs> but you know, those are just small slip ups, little tiny hiccups, some innocent stuff you could get away with, it's whatever. Uh, but now, with your fake 30 days challenge, I think you took it a little bit too far. Sure, your content is of high quality, it's, it's really entertaining, but you're also really manipulating and exploiting your audience, dude. You know what you should be scared of? Oh, oh my, not going to airact.shop and getting one of these hoodies before the end of the 30 day series. That would be tough. A few weeks ago, Mr. Beast and Eric teamed up for this end of the year challenge, where Eric has to travel around the entire world in 30 days throughout the month of December. I mean, so the challenge starts on the 1st of December and he has to be back in New York City by New Year's. Starting December 1st, I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe, uploading 30 videos in 30 days. I'm gonna be circling the globe over the next 30 days, ending in New York City on New Year's Eve. He also has to upload daily videos of his journey. And if he isn't back in New York City by the end of December or fails to upload a video for even a single day, Mr. Beast will delete his channel. I gave my YouTube password to Mr. Beast, who has agreed that I have 30 days to make it around the earth, upload a video on this channel every day for the next 30 days, and if I fail, he will delete my channel. Yeah, I gave Jimmy my laptop here, he has full control. Uh, but it's completely fake. I was excitingly waiting for the very first upload. Woo! Um, until three minutes into the first episode where the cracks already started to show. There's some kind of parade happening. All the roads around here are closed down. This is not something I anticipated, but we might have to jump out. Because this? Well, this is the Dublin Services Parade, which happened on September 2nd. And then if you go to episode three and pause right here, you can clearly see the 12th September timestamp on his watch. <laughs> Maybe his watch was just malfunctioning throughout episode 3. And Santa will just give him a new watch for Christmas. Wait. He's in Switzerland? And there's no snow? In December? Uh -huh. And why is he eating meat that expired on the 18th uh -huh. of September? Yeah, so in episode 4, we see him take out meat that has expired 3 months ago. Now, since his follow-up video was entitled, I'm in the hospital for lethal food poisoning. Mr. Beast, please don't delete my uh -huh. channel. I presume he started filming this challenge at the start of September, giving Eric an entire 3 months head start before even starting his 30 day series challenge on YouTube. Starting December 1st, I'm gonna be traveling around the entire globe. See, that's what I thought at first. Uh, but now that we're at episode 14, I realize that this isn't even a challenge he's actually doing. Instead, it's one big lie to what I think boost his views and manipulate his audience to increase limited merch sales. And oh boy, do I have proof. 
See, so far we know that his entire first six episode, his traveling through Europe in a straight line challenge, within his traveling around the world in 30 days challenge, has been filmed back in September. But the manipulation and deceit still gets worse with every single episode. See, from episode 7 on, the credibility of his series just falls apart completely. Yeah, he tries to manipulate the viewer by saying he almost missed today's upload. We almost missed our upload window, and I have a few videos in this series saved for moments like this. Obviously, some of the videos in this series are not filmed completely live. These videos take so much time and effort to pre-produce. So luckily, I shot this video right before we shot the series in case of a moment like this. That'd be fine, right? Uh, if he was being truthful. See, him only admitting that for episode 7 subconsciously enforces the fact that all the previous episodes were actually legit and he was just too busy working on those that he needed to use an emergency video today for episode 7 even though <laughs> so far 1 to 6 have been on a 3 month buffer as well and oh look more manipulation tactics uh... So technically, the beginning 25% of his entire series so far have been emergency backup videos? A great way to start the series, dude. Um, and spoiler alert, his next videos are lied about as well. The logical reason why he only admits in episode 7 that it was entirely pre-recorded is because of Ryan Trahan. Love his videos. He uploaded his version of the same exact Shrek Swamp video about a month and a half ago. So Eric knew he wouldn't be able to get away with claiming this was part of his challenge. Now this doesn't prove that the rest of his challenge was fake. He still traveled the world in 30 days, he just started in September. Because he needed all this time to edit such high quality videos. Uh, no. No, the rest is faked as well. See, I'll get back to episode 8 in a bit, uh, but first we gotta jump into episode 9, where at the start, Eric claims that they've just flown 3,900 miles from southern Italy to Dubai. We have traveled 3,900 miles to visit the world's largest water park in Dubai! Yeah! Uh, remember Southern Italy, where episode 6 ended in about the end of September? Yeah, you know, so that's fair. He's still continuing the challenge. It's just a little bit earlier. He just did it a few months ago. I mean, that's what he tells us or tries to make us believe in episode 8. We spent the first week of this episode going in a perfectly straight line across Europe. That's what we've been doing for the last six days. You guys can go watch the videos, but I am in pain. And he's really phrasing it in a way to try and make us believe he's still in the middle of his challenge. That he just ended episode Six. We've only made it a quarter of the way around the world so far and we have to get to the next city somehow. So I hit up the tourism board of certain city and they were so excited about- Holy, can you stop with the cuts? I'm getting nauseous. Emirates, A380, first class suite. I'm okay, What does sweet mean on an airplane? I don't know. I'm okay. Anyway, during the flight itself, you can clearly see on several occasions that the plane never left southern Italy. It left Houston, USA. You can also see the flight plan over here and as a a geographical expert I know that this is Europe and you know where the arrow is originating from well that's America and you can see the arrow is going all the way to Dubai and that's the power of geography baby but a flight from Italy to Dubai is about 5 hours and 50 minutes. While a flight from Houston to Dubai is about 15 hours. Now I don't know why he would go through an entire 14 hour flight from southern Italy back to Houston, USA to make a tiny little pit stop and then go on a 15 hour flight all the way to Dubai. In a very time sensitive challenge where so far he even had to upload an emergency video. We almost missed our upload window. Because he didn't have enough time. Well in episode 10 where he spends a night at a very expensive hotel, uh, you can see a news report from CNN on the TV about an event that happened on November 21st, about two months after he arrived in southern Italy. Two months! But hey, grab a hoodie before you run out of time. <sighs> I, I gotta sit down for a little bit. <sighs> so yeah. His first seven videos don't just have nothing to do with the around the world in 30 days challenge because they were filmed three months ago even though he tries to make us believe they weren't. This also proves he never completed the challenge in 30 days. He didn't even complete it in 90 days. And now it turns out that his Dubai videos have been pre-recorded for at least 20 days before upload. So far I've talked about the first 10 episodes, one third of his challenge, and every single one has been pre 
be recorded for weeks or months while he's actively trying to manipulate us into believing this isn't the case. We spent the first week of this episode going in a perfectly straight line across here. That's what we've been doing for the last six days. This sucks, dude, and I'm sorry to tell you, but the web of lies still gets worse. <laughs> Eric, more like Air Hack. <laughs> See, in episode 11 and 12, he takes us to Australia. And this time, his flight actually was from Dubai to Australia. Uh, but these episodes, one third into the challenge, still haven't been filmed in December. See, I found some Instagram posts featuring Eric and Cooper PD. The Underground Inn featured in episode 11. Um, and this was posted on November 27, more than 15 days ago. While someone posted the picture about episode 12, on November 26th. Let's jump into episode 14, where he flew in 50 competitive eaters into LA. Angeles this morning. To see if they can eat up an entire buffet. Um, and I knew that at least one of these 50 competitive eaters would slip up and post at least something about the Eric video on the day of filming. I uh, see one of them posted an Instagram reel and a YouTube video about it on November 18th. Go get some food. Which is not only before the Australian videos take place, but is also before the Dubai videos take place. But I thought he just finished his one week European challenge. We spent the first week of this episode going in a perfectly straight line across here. That's what we've been doing for the last six days. You guys can go watch the videos. And at this point, I'm just like, what are you doing, dude? Is one month of increased merch sales and views worth all of your credibility as a YouTuber? Does Eric fake videos? This question triggers me. Well, so far you've released 14 episodes of this challenge and I've proven that you fake 13 of them. Side note, episode 13, 14, 15 and 16 have all been recorded in Los Angeles, uh, which if you don't know, is where Eric lives. Now I might live here in Los Angeles, but- So he's barely even traveling at this point. As Mr. Beast said, you're so rich, you don't even have to make videos anymore. Like you have enough money where you just don't have to work anymore, but you keep going. So I assumed you still made them because you love making videos and you love your audience? Or is it really just a numbers game to you where you want more subscribers and more money through merch sales? And we're only making a limited quantity of these and they are gone forever. You've spent more than 90 days so far to complete your 30 days challenge. 30 days to make it around the earth, upload a video on this channel every day for the next 30 days. And if I fail, you will delete my channel. Yeah, start the countdown. And you're still going till December 30, which gives you a total of about 120 days to complete your 30 days challenge. So, um, Eric, uh, buddy, pretty sure that Mr. Beast is allowed to delete your channel now? Since you have completely failed this challenge, roping in Mr. Beast to add this fake challenge so you can manipulate your audience with these fake stakes to squeeze some more money out of them is pretty fucking exploitative. And I have to call that out, so please, Eric, do better because now you're becoming what you swore you weren't. You can count on me to not fake videos, unlike almost every other creator on the platform. I'll give Jimmy the benefit of the doubt because I have no proof whatsoever that Jimmy is in on it as well, outside of being good friends with Eric. And who I also have to call out are my friends Maxime and Victor, who helped me extensively entangling this web of lies throughout Eric's series so far. So go give Victor a follow on Instagram in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel and watch some of my other videos to become part of my cereal bowl so we can become the largest cereal bowl on YouTube and I can absorb all of your fibers and nutrients. I feel like I just started 100 beefs. Not sorry about it.